I'd like to talk about a niche divination card farming strategy that is simply too hard to pull off with a completed atlas. Kirak offers you a variety of maps to choose from with random missions associated with them. One mission in particular requires you to find the stack of divination cards in the map. The Explorer's Scouting Report is a consumable that forces only incomplete maps on your atlas to appear as an option from Kirak. For example, if you were to have 98 out of 100 regular maps completed on your atlas, leaving Phantasmagoria and Colonnade incomplete, Kirak will only offer those maps. This is an interesting method of farming strong divination cards in stacks. It's also the strangest due to the nature of it. There are several maps that shine with this strategy, such as Promenade map with Patient and Dying Anguish cards, Cells map for Chains that Bind, Offering and Nurse cards, and Crimson Temple map for Life Thief, Enlightened, Seven Years Bad Luck and Apothecary cards. This can be strong for solo sale found, as several maps are home to divination cards that reward hard to get items, such as Grotto map for Mind's Eye, Gift of Azanath, Pride of the First Ones, Primordial, Stone Perfected and Bijou. Kirak's shop is also refreshed after every completed mission, so be sure to check what he's selling after every map and purchase any Sextant, Guardian card and Influence map you see. You don't need to use any scarabs or quantity enhancing methods either, this is a relatively quick and cheap strategy. However, you do need a large amount of Kirak missions, and there are two ways of getting these. Grinding maps out over a long period of time, or sacrificing primal cyst callers at the menagerie. I believe it's better to just farm for the Kirak missions with an enjoyable fast mapping setup with all the Kirak mission chance passives allocated. Remember, do not kill the map boss for this will complete the map and prevent it from being a forced choice from Kirak.